In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a McNamara chi-square statistic in SPSS in such a way that it'll give you the chi-square value and the uncorrected p-value, unlike the video I demonstrated uh, years ago now, uh, where you had to use, at least so I thought, you had to use syntax to get those values. So if you haven't seen the uh, McNamara chi-square SPSS video that I've um, put up, uh, I'd recommend you look at it to really understand what I'm doing uh, or to understand where I'm coming from with this video. But just as a brief review, uh, what I did with the syntax, because you don't get the chi-square value and you don't get an uncorrected p-value when you use McNamara chi-square in SPSS. So I used syntax and that syntax gave me uh, uncorrected uh, chi-square value of 3.60 and a p-value of 0 0.0578. And so what I'm going to demonstrate in this video is that using another statistic you can get exactly the same chi-square and p-value and but you don't have to use syntax. You can use it in the windows within SPSS. And the way you do that is to use Cochrane's Q. Cochrane's Q is the same as McNamara chi-square. So you have dichotomously scored variables, uh, data, and you have a within subjects design and your hypothesis is that there is a change in the percentages across time. Now Cochrane's Q was invented because McNamara chi-square was only applicable for two levels if you had two percentages. Cochrane's Q moved beyond that. You can use, you can test three, four, five, or more percentages. But it can actually work just fine with two percentages. And a lot of people either don't know that or, uh, or I don't know, they maybe just don't know that. I didn't know it at the time. At, at the time that I made the video uh, on McNamara chi-square. So here are the exact same data that I used for the McNamara chi-square video and I'll show you how to get exactly the same chi-square value and the p-value. Go into McNamara chi-square as you get in the syntax. You go into non-parametric tests, legacy, legacy dialogues, k-related samples. Instead of two, go to k, k-related samples. I'm going to put signaler and age 1 and signaler age 3 in my test variables. Deselect Friedman, select Cochrane's Q and click OK. And what I'm going to get is the Cochrane's Q which is really a chi-square value 3.60 and a asymptotic significance p-value of 0 0.058. And just to prove that I'm getting exactly the same result I'm going to change the number of decimals and I'm going to have 4. So there's that 0 0.0578. And what did I get when I used the syntax? 0 0.0578. It's exactly the same. Chi-square 3.60. So instead of using syntax, just use Cochrane's uh, Q-test. Uh, it will work just fine. You get the uncorrected chi-square value and you get the uncorrected p-value. Uh, you don't. Uh, my hunch is that eventually the syntax won't work in SPSS because they'll make some changes. But Cochrane's Q should stay the same for who knows, uh, for the foreseeable future anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, good way to get around this problem. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.